Hey guys, this is Sarah and my furry feline Raven. Say hi, Raven. Say hi. She wanted to cuddle up in mommy's arms. So it's about almost 10.30 a.m. <clears throat> I checked on the tracking numbers for my eye stearns packages and they should be arriving today. <clears throat> According to FedEx, they will be delivered by noon today. Yay, so happy. Um, so this is not an unbagging just yet. I will have that video out within the next couple of days. I have another day off tomorrow, so I plan on unbagging them then. When I used to get yarn packages in, I never had any patience. And I would watch YouTube unboxings and be like, how do these ladies have the patience to let that yarn sit in their house and not open it? I'm like, I couldn't do that. But now doing these videos for the past few weeks and doing the unbaggings, waiting for when I'm ready to film, it's, it's like so exciting. Oh my gosh, is that FedEx right now? Hang on, I think FedEx is delivering my ice cream right now. Hang on. Hang on, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you too. Okay, guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That was like superb timing. Ah! I just got my ice yarns. Ah! Okay, well, I'm not going to unbag them just yet because I have some other things I wanted to show you guys. So stay tuned for this video because this will be out within the next day or two as soon as I get it uploaded. I just got both of them at once and I ordered them like two days apart. Okay, so excited. So I have lots of other things to show you guys. And I have a small order from Chewy. If you guys like Chewy or want to know about Chewy, it's a great store for pets. Stay tuned to listen about that. Um, just so you know, I'm not affiliated by anything. My videos are not sponsored by anyone. My videos are always going to be sponsored by me. All, of it, all these things I spend my own money on. If any of my videos are ever affiliated or sponsored, I will specify that at the beginning of my video. Otherwise, don't even ask. They're, they're not affiliated by anybody. So, what I have to show you guys, I bought a little bit of yarn last Saturday. I was out having lunch with a friend, and I wanted to look for some yarn. Um, I needed more yarn for two blankets I'm working on. I picked up some more Lion Brand Mandela Ombre. This is literally the softest, softest acrylic I've ever felt in my entire life. I love it so much. It's plump and squishy and, and just cuddly soft. Oh my gosh, this would be so great if this came in a bulky five or a super bulky six. Lion Brand, if you see this video, will you please, 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 please make this yarn in a larger, excuse me, in a larger, thicker weight, please. And you can call it something else, give it different colorway names, but make this the way it feels make this in a thicker strand please oh my gosh i love this so much so this is the colorway chi creative grandma made a big blanket using this colorway i will try to link that in the description box you can see that if you're interested i'm making just a basic c to c with it for my queen size bed so i have about maybe close to 20 skeins of this now so i got five of those and then i also got premier puzzle yarn and the colorway sudoku it's my favorite colorway i love the gray neutrals 100% acrylic. Premier Puzzle Yarn is normally 300 meters, 328 yards, 200 gram skein, or seven ounces. And the Lion Brand Ombre, this is a 5.3 ounce cake, 150 grams, 344 yards, 315 meters. This one's a number five, this one's a number four. And they are both soft, machine washable and dryable. I wash 100% acrylics, and every time I pull them out of the dryer, they are so much softer. You don't even have to use dryer sheets. You don't even have to use fabric softener, which I normally don't. Um, and then I went to Hobby Lobby, and I got three skeins of the I Love This yarn. Very super soft, 100% acrylic. This is called Tin Roof. Color name, Tin Roof. This is 230 meters, 250 yards, five ounce skein, 142 grams. This is also a number four. I got three skeins of that, and I've started working on a hat. Um, 
the bush tracker hat from bag -a day crochet she um, did a crochet a crochet version of a knitted version of um, urban yarns I will also try to link that in the description box below if you're interested there's a hat challenge and I've got the top part done I've got two more rows before I start the herringbone section um, but I thought I'd give that a try because I needed another hat one other thing I got from um, well, two other things I got from Ice Yarns, um, excuse me, Hobby Lobby. I got the Tin Roof from Hobby Lobby, and then I also, they only had one skein left. It's the Cotton Blend Ice Cream. I thought this rainbow mix was would be gorgeous to make um, a face washcloth. I could probably make two face washcloths out of this. Uh, 3.5 ounce skein, 100 grams. It's a size number four weight. 225 yards, 206 meters. Uh, it's 47% cotton, 53% acrylic, and I think these are just fun, fun colors. Very fun. And that'll make a gorgeous face washcloth. That'll make it more fun. The one other thing I got, let me go grab it. Hang on, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Okay. On their end cap outside of the yarn aisles, they had this cute little tape measure. It's a llama. And it says on the back side, yarn rolls, which yes it does, because you can make so many different things. And it goes to, I guess the standard, 60 inches, five feet. <clears throat> so I thought it was really cute and little bits of yarn in the llama's hair. He's so cute, okay. So that goes in my stash. And I like these little clear bags. I keep um, extra needles, darning needles. I've got a rubber thumbtack. You can get these at um, Hobby Lobby. It's just a, a silicone thumbtack, so when you're working with your darning needles, it won't slip through your fingers. You won't poke yourself if you're using a smaller darning needle. You can order these on Amazon. They come in packs of five, and they're just little plastic scissors. You open them up. Then they fold down. Now these are plastic scissors and they're extremely lightweight and easy to use, but they are extremely, extremely sharp. You, don't, you wouldn't think these would be so sharp. So if you order these and use them, please be careful. Like seriously. The easiest way I've cut myself is when I'm closing them up. So you just kind of make sure they're out all the way and then lay them black, back flat. And this is where people cut themselves. If you don't lay these all the way, you'll end up poking yourself. So. Make sure they're flat all the way, then you can push them in. So I store them like that on the go. And I have some threads for other stitch markers. These are great for thicker yarns, for my super bulky yarns. Um, if I have any favorite leftovers left, I'll tie off the ends. I'll crochet a tight chain and I'll tie, tie off the ends. And I have an extra hook in here and just other little things. I bought this from Hobby Lobby and I don't use it. I'm always having to adjust my tension. I don't use this. Does anyone use these? I would use it on my pinky. I tried using it on my index. It's like every once in a while I, I take the yarn off my hand and then I readjust it. And it, it just gets in my way. Oh, this is from my great grandmother, my grandma Betty. Great grandma Betty on my father's side. She had one of these on her tiny little crochet hook. I think you can still buy these. You put it on your crochet hook, and then you can change the numbers for each time you finish a row. I don't know if my camera can focus on that. I'm sorry if it's not focusing. There's numbers in here. It's a two-digit number. You, you just turn them every time you complete a row, and then it has a small tape measure inside. You can pull out. Isn't that neat? And this goes out to not very long, just like eight inches. But it's good for like small projects and then when you want to put the tape measure up, you just turn this and the tape goes back inside. You just turn this and it goes back inside. Isn't that neat? I've had this for a while. It's just so, so much fun to use. I just dropped it. Okay, so I have more yarn to show you and some other projects I was working on. Ah, I just 
dropped my whole little pouch. <laughs> but I got it. I got it. Okay. Um, I made this bag. I made this. This bag was based off of Jada and Stitch's great big basket. But I did not follow her pattern exactly. I followed the bottom edging. But instead of single crochet, I did double crochet. And then, and then I went up on the um up from the bottom to the edge just like Jade and Stitches did um, but I still just did double crochets up the side and then I took my brown and I did two strands of brown and I just did two single crochets in each stitch for the for the trimming for the top and bottom trimming so I used three strands of yarn about 800 yards each a 10 millimeter crochet hook and then an 8 millimeter or a seven millimeter crochet hook, I can't remember, it's a seven or an eight. Two strands of yarn, single crochet, two single crochet in each stitch around. I added an extra double crochet in the handle bits. I will have a pattern worked out for this at some point. This is no one, this is no one's exact pattern. This is kind of a mixtured pattern of maybe three different, between three different videos of baskets I've watched. So what I do is, to make it the way I like it and to accommodate my style, I combine a mixture of different videos and I kind of make something up of my own. I'll add this aspect of it from her, I'll add this aspect of it from him, and then I'll add my own aspect to it. And my own aspect was, was the trimming on the top and bottom. And of course the color choices. I used a simple plain dark brown, a cream or a light beige, and then this is like an old wool. I got this yarn from a thrift store. It's like an old um, tweed yarn. It's got like a little bit of color in it. Hold it up close. It's got some color in that tweed yarn. The middle brown. It's got like some gray in it. Pops of red. I don't even know if you can see any of that. But this is what I call my whip basket. It stays with me next to my couch where I crochet. Whip. Works in progress. So I showed you this already. This is just using Favorite from Ice Yarns. Um, I'm in the middle of the second skein and I'm just making a basic shawl, square shawl, and this is a double V. I found this underneath the name Irish Lace Crochet Stitch and it's just two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, repeat. It's a gorgeous easy stitch. It's one of my favorites. I'm still not done with it yet. But this was the granny square poncho I'm working on my girlfriend, for my girlfriend. It's only like half done. You wear it over your shoulders. It's like a pullover. And it'll go down past her butt. She wants it long. And it's gorgeous so far. And that's with Picasso yarn. I'm working with Picasso yarn. That colorway is 66600 right here. I'll get it out and show you in case you haven't seen it in my other videos. This is colorway Picasso, pinks, turquoise, lilacs, a little bit of black. There's the number. They do have some left if you want to grab some. They have several colorways left and they are gorgeous colorways. I highly recommend Picasso. Most, most ice yarns, unbaggings, or unboxings, those people will tell you, buy some Picasso. I highly recommend it. It's ten dollars a bag, but it's beautiful yarn and well worth it and extremely soft. <coughs> Excuse me. I will put the link to this video in the description box as well because I cannot for the life of me remember the name of this pattern. It's it starts with a D. D D. Dana Days or something. It's a shawl. I love how the stitch pattern is working out. You start in the corner, that's row one, row two, row three, and you just keep going. You keep going, each row is wider, you increase on one side, so I have stitch markers there indicating my increases. This is the, it's a ten row repeat, so I have stitch markers indicating my ten rows, so I know what to repeat. And I'm on probably row 26, 27, something like that. So that's a work in progress, obviously. <clears throat> I have like 10 whips in progress right now, I'm not even joking. Oh, I'm using the Morella 
for that. It's 66043. As far as I know, RC Yarn still has some of this. It's April, April 15th, so if you're watching months after this, they might be out. I'm also using a six millimeter crochet hook, which I also bought from Ice Yarns. I measured this in one of my last videos. I think this is five and a half inches. It's a smidge shorter than I would like, but the hook actually works very well. This works really, really nice. And I actually bought another one that I have in one of these bags with two other hooks that I've been wanting to try theirs. <clears throat> so that'll be fun in the unbagging. What else do I have in here? I have this cotton yarn I also ordered from Ice Yarns. 67758. Sell Summer Camel. It was $3 a package. Exact same stuff as this yarn, which is the cotton acrylic. This is exactly 50 cotton, 50 acrylic. 67904. They're sold out of this now. I raved about this in one of my first videos. This cotton yarn is so unbelievably soft. I made like 10 washcloths with it. Washed and dried them. They washed out very well. They still looked like I had just stitched them up. I gave a bunch to a friend of mine. He said he likes them. This would be so great for like a baby changing mat. Crochet a small rectangle, fold into thirds. The mommy can put it in the diaper bag. This would be super soft and appropriate for babies to lay on when you're changing the diaper. That would be so great. So I've literally got six, eight, nine packages of these for a set of my new washcloths and to make baby changing mats because my sister, she has a, a baby. She's almost two years old now. Well, she's like 18 months, but um, she has a lot of young friends who has babies. So, and they'll be great for donations. Here's some more rainbow yarn I was making washcloths with. I'm not quite finished with this one. This yarn I also got from Hobby Lobby, but it's not the same. It's not the same as the ice cream yarn that I showed you. It's a little different. It's, I think it's called I Love This Cotton. This is a basic C to C, 10 by 10. And then I'm just gonna put a, a regular border around it. And this is super soft. And it's just cotton. It's so nice. Uh, let's see, I have a bunch of stuff in here I need to get working on. This is the Mako cotton I got from Ice Yarns on my first order. I'm using an eight millimeter hook for this one because this one, they don't have any more of this left. I was only able to get three packs of this before they sold out, but they come in an eight pack of balls like this, Mako cotton. Um, I'm not gonna give you the number on this because they're sold out and I don't think they'll be getting any more. Um, this is a number two, number two weight. And of course you can use it for this, but I tripled it up and I'm just making a basic C to C shawl. Here's the top of it. I'm just making a, a plain C to C shawl, triangular. I'm not going to decrease and make it a square. It's just gonna be a shawl. But um, I was on the couch playing with this and working it up. It's not like a solid black and bright light. It looks like an anthric charcoal, charcoal gray. But um, my cat usually hangs out with me on the couch and I was petting her. You know, she likes attention when I'm on the couch. Sometimes she interrupts my crochet. So I was petting her, crocheting with the Mako, petting her, crocheting with the Mako. And I realized this is just as soft as my cat. What? So this is going to remind me, once Raven passes on, this is going to remind me of Raven. Oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna make a really nice triangular shawl with that. It'll be great for the winter time. And since I tripled up the yarn, I'm using the eight millimeter hook. If you want to work with the strand alone, I would just work with a four millimeter hook or a five millimeter if I wanted something more lacy. And then, what else am I working on? Here's the rest of the Mako cotton. Okay, so I will give you the number. Here it is. But like I said, they're out. You might be able to leave your email to see if they'll notify you if they do have any more. I don't know if they'll come back with any more or not. They've already emailed me once saying they had gotten some back in stock and then they were sold out again, like in days. So I don't know if they will be getting any more back of that back in yet or not. But my email has been waiting for another notification and nothing yet. 
And here's a scarf I made. Now, this is a shawl I was working on last year. This is Hobby Lobby yarn. Uh, I don't remember the colorway. A black variegated and a purple variegated. And I just did half double crochets in the back loop only. But I think I would prefer it as a scarf. I love the stitch, but I like it better on hats. I like the stitch much better on hats. And it feels great. It feels really nice. But I'm thinking about frogging it back and making a lacier stitch. I'm not sure yet. Here's some of the yarn I'm using. Here it is. I love this yarn. This one is gray black. That's all it's called, gray black. Same amount of yardage as the tin roof I showed you earlier. From the same store, same brand of yarn. And is my hook in here? No, I took my hook out because I'm going to frog it back. Uh, oh, here's my C to C blanket I was telling you I was working on with that purple Lion Brand yarn, the Chi. This is four cakes, three cakes, maybe four cakes worked up. It's pretty big. It's big enough for a shawl. Big enough for a shawl already. That would be a gorgeous shawl. So wear it as a shawl for a minute. It's pretty with my Punisher shirt here. That's beautiful. A very short shawl for me. I would make it a lot longer, but this is what it looks like worked up in a C to C, and I love it. I love the stripe effect. I may block it. Once I have it laid on my bed, I might spray it down a little bit and, and flatten it and let it dry. And I already have another cake in here ready to go. And this is a four weight yarn and I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook. It's covered up by a gripper, but this is a 5.5 millimeter hook and it's working out really great. I love it. And I have this just in one of my wine reusable bags. Wine a little, laugh a lot. I got this from a health food store. I cut out the sections for the to carry the wine bottles and I use it as a yarn bag. <laughs> I love it. And that's all I have in my whip bag. That's all I have in here. The only other thing I have in here is some of that cotton yarn I showed you. And then I have one of these headlights. Headlights. I love wearing these at night. When I have friends over, we watch a movie, the lights are off. I can still wear these around my neck and I can crochet. I can see what I'm doing with my crochet. Here's the um, brand. Krista at... at um, Secret Yarny has a link in her descriptions of where she likes to get the best um, neck lights. But this one is kind of heavy back here. It, it, it takes batteries. It does have a soft spot to go against your neck. But it's just slightly heavy on the back of your neck. I don't know if some of you guys would like this. But um, here's the brand if you want to look it up. But it works great. I've had these for years. This came in a set of two. And I got them from one of those um, Costco stores. Yeah, kind of like Sam's Club. I got it from one of those stores. Um, I wanted to show you guys some yarn I got from Annie's catalog because I have mentioned that to you before, but I didn't show you anything I got. Um, I got two skeins of the Scarfy from Line Brand. And I'll take one out of the bag so you can see it better. I keep my stuff in yarn baths to keep them protected from moisture, dust, pet dander. Scarfy, this is 5.3 ounce skein, 150 grams, 312 yards, 285 meters, 78% acrylic, 22% wool. I would delicately, delicately wash this in cold water and lay flat to dry. It even says lay flat to dry. The square with the dash in it, that means lay flat to dry. Delicate cold water, do not do not bleach, lay flat to dry. It says you can iron it because it doesn't have an X over that. I would not iron this yarn though. I would not. I, you could steam it. The circle with the P in it, I can't remember what that symbol means. If you do know, please leave it in the comments. But if you do go to Tide's, um, Tide's website, Tide.com, they have a section where they have um, a description of what every laundry symbol means. Yeah, what every laundry symbol here means. I found it by going to the Google taskbar 
and typing in laundry symbol meanings. And then there's tons of links that will show up. So this is super soft. You can definitely feel the wool in it. I got the eggplant taupe colorway because I love these colorways. Very gorgeous. And I thought I'd just make just a simple scarf. Obviously, scarfy. I make I might make like a like, like a scarfy shawl or something like that. I love that colorway so much. I also got these cakes. This is Lion Brand shawl and a cake. And I got the mauve colorway, which is called Mindful Mauve. It, it was kind of hard for me to get this colorway. It was one of my favorites. I love the burgundy, plum, eggplant, purple colorways with the neutral colors. And of course, it's a very popular colorway. It was hard to get. Um, but I got three of these to make a really nice oversized shawl for the fall, early fall. 5.3 ounce cake, 150 grams, 481 yards. 440 meters. It's a number four weight, but it's a, kind of a, on the thinner side, which is why there's so many yardage, yards in here. So this would be a nice, nice shawl. I mentioned this before. I also got this from Annie's catalog. This is Red Heart Rolled It Sparkle. As far as I know, I have not checked within the last couple of days, but as far as I know, they had a lot of these. A lot. I went back and placed a second order to get some more of cakes, and I have eight cakes of this. So I can make something for myself, I can make something for a girlfriend or a sister, because this colorway is gorgeous and popular, and if I make something for myself, somebody I know is going to want something too, so I got lots of cakes. Number four weight, this is 5.29 ounces, 150 gram ball, 561 meters, 513, 561 yards, excuse me, 513 meters. 97% acrylic, 3% other fibers, which I would assume is the metallic Lurex. I got Tweet Yarn from Annie's catalog. This is Mandela Tweet Stripes. I got one in White Elephant and two in Talisman. I'm going to alternate. Maybe two stripes, one stripe, two stripes, one stripe. I think this would make a really pretty small baby blanket or a fun scarf or something or a shawl um, I got this Premier Parfait Flavors I got three cakes they come in packs of three but you can order these skeins individually if you want to they'll just open the package up if you want to they'll take one out throw the package in your bag if you just want one they'll pull a skein out throw that in your bag um, the only thing I don't like about Annie's catalog is they do not package their yarns in plastic. They come in a big cardboard box with some air-filled packaging material, which I think is a waste. Sorry, Annie's catalog, but Ice Yarns, they literally squeeze all their yarn together and they wrap it up with really good packaging material. And all the yarn comes in plastic. They don't need extra air-filled packaging material, so why would any other yarn company need extra packaging material unless they're sending something fragile, like a coffee cup. Um, but anyways, this yarn is so soft. I couldn't resist getting some of this to try so I can make something for my niece, my 18th month old niece. This is Premier Parfait Flavors, 100% polyester. No wonder it's so soft. Uh, it's 156 yards, 143 meters, 3 ounce skein, 85 grams. It's a number 5 bulky. The colorway is Calure uh, Magdalena. Magdalena, I guess. Is that it? Magdalena? Magdalena? Well, anyway, it's gorgeous. It's a very light, pale, extremely light, pale pink, gray, and purple. And that'll be really fun. I'm going to make her like her own little shawlette or something. Something pretty and soft that she'll love to wear in the wintertime. And I also got like 10 skeins of the Muir Woods. And the best and my favorite colorway that they had. This is Mount Tam. But it's got like dark lilacs, light. It's like a light eggplant, medium purple. 
it's pretty much coming up true to camera just a little bit bright because of the light and it's got grays and teals and I thought the dove yarn the dove yarn from Red Heart the Red Heart Super Saver dove I thought this yarn looked really well with the Mount Tam can you see the gray mix in there and then with the dove so I'm going to mix these two yarns together and make a blanket. I think that would be really gorgeous. I've got 10 skeins of this and 6 skeins of the Dove. So that'll make a really nice sized blanket. I'm going to mention the Ice Yarns Baby Twist. Skein felt. 69001. Number 5 Bulky Weight. Baby Twist is awesome. It's so much fun to work with. I'll tell you about it in case you have not heard about it in another video. This is Baby Twist. It's a number 5 bulky. 15% wool, 85% acrylic, 50 gram ball, 70 meters. Isn't that gorgeous? 15% wool in this, but when I worked it up, it doesn't feel like it has any wool in it. It is so soft and squishy and cuddly. I highly recommend you get some Baby Twists. They have so many different colorways. I really like their, um, I'm about to order some, um, some of their gray Baby Twist with the pink, the light pink and the, and the light turquoise. That would be so beautiful for a large baby blanket. The gray and the pink and the teal. Oh my goodness. So gorgeous. So I'm going to take two or three balls of this, however many it takes to go around a fleece blanket that I have. I found a scrap piece of yarn, a yarn remnant, remnant at Walmart, and it needs a border. Look how fun this is. It's a diagonal stripe leopard rainbow blanket. And I'm like, oh my God, I need that. I need that in my life. Like, it's big enough for a large size throw. Huge, huge. I thought I would originally just take some black yarn and do a nice little scalloped edging around it. But then I saw, did I put that yarn away already? Let me get it back out of the package. But then I compared this blanket to the baby twist. Look at that. Wouldn't that just go gorgeous together for the, for the border? Everyone needs rainbows in their life, right? Right? Doesn't rainbows just make you so happy? It's like the promise at the end of the storm. Everything's going to be okay. Rainbows are so happy. So happy. Okay, so now that's all the yarn I have to show you guys for now until I do my ice yarns and bagging. Wasn't that so cool that FedEx delivered just as I was doing a video? So fun. So that's exciting. So I 